Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Eric Omondi is a comedian who, as of late, is turning into an activist. And we know what Eric Omondi stands for. This is a man who has stood out to fight for poor Kenyans who can't afford a meal. And uh, he has gone to an extent of even uh, uh, staging a demonstration to the National Assembly. He wanted even to address Wetangula. He wanted even to address William Ruto. He's standing for the youth who are jobless. We have seen him with the, with the uh, trolley pushing the CVs, taking to State House. We have seen him several times standing out in different areas in a protest against the government in a manner in which it is treating the youth. Omond is still the same person who has stood out in defense of the young content creators who are trying to earn a living through their creative way, whereby the government is not even offering a job, is not even helping in any way to let them monetize on their content they are trying to make. El Komond has stood out for angry Kenyans. He has distributed food in Nairobi, in Kisumu and other areas, and he has stood up in a protest against the high cost of living. With all this, Moses Kuria has not been happy, and the Kuria is serious in William Ruto's government. Now, Kuria came out to reveal how he helped Eric Mondi to get out of this country abroad and market his name. So, he went further to to even give out figures in terms of money on how he facilitated Eric Omond. And uh, Kuria was not happy on how Omond was taking on the government. So what did Eric Omond do? He decided that, okay, you helped me with the 126,000 shillings to market myself outside, to facilitate him outside the country. And because Kuria has made it publicly, and uh, he registered his disgruntlement with Eric Komondi, his, his disappointment in Eric Komondi because of how he's fighting the government, where Kuria is in, and yet he helped him. So Omondi decided that I will send you back your money, and from here, Eshima Idum. I saw some people not understanding from the position where Eric Komondi is coming from, to make a decision to return Moses Kuria's money. Pesa ya Kuria ni sumu, and that's what he, he came to share in public after returning the money. Heshima Idumu Sasa. You can see there, confirm 126,000 shillings sent to Moses Kuria on 24th June 2023 at 4 p.m. New M Pesa balance is there, 74,000. Transaction cost 105,000. Amount you can transfer is there. The details. So it's a screenshot of the MPESA that he returned to Moses Kuria. Now, why am I bringing this story here? I will tell you, but if you go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our return subscribers. Thank you so much, and again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Now, the truth is that Eric Omond is not the only person who has been helped by a politician. No. There are many people who have been helped. But again, in as much as someone has helped you, it does not make it does not necessarily make you to agree with everything these people are doing. It means Yani Kama Wakosawa Unakubalena how. When they were wrong, they are wrong, you have again to agree with them. No. It never worked that way. The truth is that even Moses Kuria, who is revealing in public on how he helped Babu uh, Eriko Omond, was also helped by Raila Odinga. At one point, Eric Omond, uh, Moses Kuria said it publicly that Raila Odinga paid his school fees at one point. Sometime even some of them when they were chasing the university, it was through Raila Odinga who made them back to school. So even him, there is someone who helped him to raise school fees. But today, Moses Kuria and Raila Odinga, they are in different camps. We all know the kind of uncut language, language that Kuria has used towards Raila Odinga. 
But still, Raila has never come out to utter any word on how he helped Korea. Why? Because you just help and let it go. Let the people speak about how you helped them. Period. And they don't need to agree with you. You just help and leave it at there. I know Uhuru amesaidia watu wengi. Raila amesaidia watu wengi. Hata Ruto amesaidia watu. Akina Mudabad. For example, let me go to the example of Mudabad. Osothi, who was in ANC and now is in ODM, Mudabadi paid his school fees. Lakini hakuna mahali Mudabadi amesimama akasema alilipa school fees yake. But today they don't agree. But you help and keep. Tukiana hata kwa deputy governor wa Kakamega. Sabula. Sabula amelipia school fees na Mudabadi. But Mudabadi has never come out to talk about this. They don't agree. Wako in different camps. But you have to maintain your level. You don't talk about these things. Help and leave it at there. Let people speak about these things like that. Hapo, even if they don't agree with you, they will still keep that respect for you. So today, Korea has destroyed his respect. In as much, uh, uh, in as much Eric Omori had respect for Korea, that respect is no longer there. Because he literally demolished the respect by coming out to register his, his disagreement in, in, in uh, Eric Omondi and what he had expected from Eric Omondi just because you helped Eric Omondi. It never worked that way. And there are many people Raila Odinga has helped. Wengine wengi sana, mpaka hata kwa kisiasa kuwaleta pale. But hawa kubaliane na hao, na hajawai kuja kuangaya ya mambo. Uhuru kinyata picked uh, Moses Kula from nowhere and he made him an MP. Today Moses Kula is insulting Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru is not coming out to say on how he helped uh, Korea. He's silent. So we are seeing Korea who seemingly if he help you and raka wa ukwe mateka waki so that you agree with everything he's doing so that you support him. You don't help people to support you. When people need you just help him and let them be. Let things be the way they are. So for me I agree with what Eric Omondi has done. Rather than falling into Moses Kuria's trap by betraying people to please Moses Kuria, I think Eric Komondi has done the right thing. You better betray Kuria, return his man if that's the problem, but stand with the people. Because Kuria would want Eric Komondi who is going to betray the people. You betray the content creators. You betray the hungry whom you have stood with. Just because you want to please Kuria, just because you want to support the wrongdoing they are doing. Because of this, this is one of the reasons why Eric Komondi has made that very informed decision to stand with the people and betray this government. That's the best thing you can do. Unlike people like Jalango, who are betraying the masses understanding with oppressors. You can help me today, but tomorrow you become an oppressor. So should I support you? That kind of thing? I should not. So wanataka tupila wanafinyilea wa Kenya wakipandisha ushuru, Eriko Munda Semenga, Aleluya, tuwa kubaliena na hao. You should not demonstrate, you should stand with the people. Just because someone helped you. What about you, Kuria? Raila helped you and he's silent. And I have never seen anywhere Eric Omond has stood in any platform to castigate Kuria. He has never done that. He has always been silent, but his focus has been on what the government is doing. So even to that level, there was respect there. Hajawai zimama malikupoto kutusi moza iskuri. Hajawai. Nakini kuri ya. Ini hile tuye nye. Nani hile kuna tuwabia siku ingine. Gashagwa. Ya kwamba. When a chicken lays an egg. It will make too much noise. The entire village will know. Kuku ametaga mayai. Lakini hile ngombe ogrede mwenye unakamua maziwa. Lita ishirini. Ananyamaza. 
So Kuria is the kind of that chicken. Because you just made a small contribution here and there to help someone, you make too much noise so that the entire village will know that you helped someone. No. It should not work that way. Saidiana, enda zako, salama. So, ata hii pesa ya nani, hii msaada ya kuria, it was just a, it looked like a curse. Sababu, it become a curse when you make it a story. You want to bring someone down just because you helped him. If you were to go in that direction, then Uhuru will bring Kuria down. Raila will bring Kuria down. And the men will be brought down. So what I'm celebrating on this panel today is Eric Omondi who has decided to betray this regime and stand with the people. For that one, we celebrate him here.